Hi everyone, welcome to Wine Diaries. What do you think I'm gonna have tonight? I've got dinner planned, I've got some appetizers planned, and two different wines to do. So, I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we're doing some wine diaries halloween style for october so we've got um i just did my wink wine bottle number three so we're going to have that wine with my appetizer and then we're going to open a halloween type wine for dinner so i'm so excited that you guys are here so first we'll just kind of show you the outfit of the day that i'm wearing so again i think you've seen this hat before i even shared it with my zombie friend last weekend so that's just from amazon it was like a pack of three four nine ninety nine i think just uh this, this was actually my very first heidi dolls necklace it was a three-piece necklace that you can wear all three together to layer it so this i just wear it this way i just thought it was fun the earrings are from shane they go with a really nice statement blue necklace piece and the rings I'm wearing here are all from Shane this week. Alrighty, so let's see the dress. The dress is from Amazon. Alrighty, so it's kind of, on the bottom it's got this design. I got my petticoat underneath to give it some fit and flair. So it's these Halloween inspired things. We got like a haunted house and it's purple. And then it goes like to like a navy blue and like a royal blue or midnight blue. And we've got some bats and then some lace on top. So just a lot of fun. The wine that we are doing for dinner is called Spellbound. It's a, I don't know what year it is. It probably says it somewhere. It's a petite Syrah. It's got a really nice label. I just thought it was a fun themed Halloween wine. It's probably some things on the back. I'm not sure if it's going to come out or not. So it's a 2019 from California. And I don't think it says anything too much. Food friendly wines are true to their roots, expressing ripe varietal character and spellbinding flavors. And it's 13. 0.5% alcohol. Alrighty, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's open this up and let it breathe a little bit, shall we? So anyway, yeah, I usually try to do these on Friday night, but yeah, it didn't quite happen. I don't know. I went to work um, Friday um, for a couple of hours to drop off paperwork, do some new paperwork and file, you know, that kind of crappy stuff. And um, yeah, so I did that for a few hours. I came home and uh, by five o'clock, I was exhausted. So I usually, I mean, that was only a nine hour day for me to do to five o'clock, but I just was so tired. I went to bed at five. Yeah, and I woke up at two in the morning. So I didn't really feel like getting ready for anything. I just, I just rolled over, went back to sleep in my clothes. Good thing I had on comfy clothes. So anyway, and I got another wine glass. I know, crazy, right, from Amazon. So we'll, we'll let this breathe in here and let's do the appetizer first. So the wine that I just opened was a Chardonnay from, did I put the cap on? From Pacificana and it mentioned that it went with fish and stuff like that. So I was in the mood for some mussels. So I bought some mussels this week and I've already cooked them, got them out of their shell. I only did a few, I didn't use the whole package. So. I took out the mussels and I put them in some nice warm garlic butter and I thought that would go really nice with my Chardonnay. So if you have never had mussels, it's, oh my God, they, they're, they're good. They're not as big as clams. I suppose some of them could be. And I first had mussels. We used to go camping on Sandy Neck Beach. It was a seven mile long beach on Cape Cod. 
and you could only go out that part of the beach or you could walk if you wanted to but you had to have a four-wheel drive vehicle you had to be self-contained you had to have you know shovels and blah 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 you had to have all this stuff and we met some amazing amazing people out there so one day you know we went out there for the weekend with them and she brought her mom along and so her mom at the time was probably and of course we probably thought that was ancient she was probably in her late 60s and she had taken their boys uh polly and um and taylor and uh, they went walking at low tide and they took muscles off the jetty you know the uh, you know the rock jetty and usually you really do need a license for that but we didn't tell her you know we didn't want to do anything they came back with a bucket full of mussels and um so we've got them soaking outside and of course we were friendly with the rangers because rick would help people all the time take people get people out of the water and we just always seem to have equipment to help people that were stuck so anyway we were friendly with the rangers and so they had come by and then he's sitting there standing there talking to us and we we're in our chairs and you know probably having a cocktail that wasn't really and uh, the bucket of mussels, he never said a word. But anyway, Dolores was Robin's mom's name and she made the mussels into her spaghetti sauce. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And um, then later on, we just started getting mussels once we got a license. So we didn't have to worry too much about clamming and things like that and grabbing mussels, which were sometimes a lot more plentiful. You didn't have to work as hard as you had to for clams. And uh, yeah, so we would steam them and have them with the butter and they're just really really good a lot of people say mussels ew, but they're really good so anyway that's my story on mussels anyway we're gonna have one mm. and of course the garlic butter makes everything right in the world Alrighty, righty gonna have it with my chardonnay mm. really really good they're not as good as the ones that we would get at the beach that were like fresh 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 these ones were frozen so i had to really it was a big package i couldn't find a small one so i'm going to be having mussels for quite a while but he only picked a few out to have today so anyway that's my mussels and they're like these kind of like black shells i mean they're really good so for dinner and i I think this is probably going to post after I did my Wine Wednesday with that Penzella soup. It was really good. Like I said, I use that soup as a base. So continuing with that, I made a little bit of spaghetti and mixed it with the, the soup. It makes a nice spaghetti sauce. Got some grated Parmesan cheese on it. And I had one of those chickens left that I had... I forgot when I had it, but it was um, a chicken breast that they've got three different kinds of cheese in there. It's wrapped with bacon. So I did one of those with it. So that is going to be my dinner to have with the petite. So I uh, brought one fork in. What was I thinking? So I did cut off a piece of the chicken and it was nice and moist last time. It got kind of crusty, I think, on top with, with the bacon. I think wobbly with the added grease or something. Hmm. But bacon makes everything better, right? Bacon and garlic butter. Alrighty. I didn't taste, smell it yet. Mmm. I'm gonna swallow and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that was a good piece of chicken. So anyway, I smell black blueberries and vanilla, some blackberry, maybe even like coffee. And it tasted really, really good. I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be served chilled to room temperature, so I did have it to have it chilled. Mmm. It's got a nice smooth texture. It's sweet from the, I can taste the blueberries more than blackberries, but the blackberries are in there. It's It's got a really nice body. It's not as dry as I would think it would be. So 
I think uh, the Petite Serrar, I think it's lighter than a Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's got some nice texture. It's got some nice flavor. And there, I'm going to put that down so I don't drop it. And I think it's going to go great with my spaghetti. <clears throat> so let's see. So it says um, some of the notes I took off the internet were enjoy this wine on its own or with expressive dishes, including Cajun flavors, smoky barbecued meats, spaghetti with meatballs, fried chicken, and even Greek food. It says rosemary, oregano, paprika, and many spices all work well. So anyway, that is my wine and my dinner for the night. So I'm going to enjoy my mussels with my Chardonnay, and then I'm gonna have my chicken and spaghetti with my spellbound Petite Syrah. Yeah, and that's a, I, maybe this is only my second or third bottle of the Petite Syrah, so it's really a nice flavor. I'm really excited that you guys stopped in to join me. I hope that you guys go out, enjoy the rest of the fall weekend. We went down to 31 last night. Today, we're only going down to 38. And um, leaves are going to be changing really fast in the area with these cold nights. So if you are into checking out the foliage and getting around, I hope you guys get to go do some leaf peeking this weekend. Living back in, in Massachusetts, we would always go up this time of year up to the White Mountain area in uh, New Hampshire. We used to do camping on Columbus Day weekend and things like that. And sometimes we'd go up, um, I think, usually we went to the Pemigewasset River, but I think the last few years we went to the Sacco River, which was maybe closer to the main side. Yeah, but just beautiful areas. And I know a lot of people went to like the Pocono Mountains and I think just, and the Appalachians of Blue, oh, the Blue Mountains must really be so, so pretty. But anyway, wherever you are, there's something beautiful no matter where you live. I know one year, I think it was in between knowing that the second leg was going to go and, um, you know, he just wasn't up to riding anymore and he was feeling, you know, nostalgic and knowing that that time of year we used to love to go riding on the bikes when we got out here to do some foliage looking and things like that. And so anyway, I went out in the backyard and I was just looking at the leaves in the background back there, our woods and the wetlands. And I said, you know, it's, you know, we never thought too much about the backyard before. So I went out with my, my phone and I went down to the bottom of the hill and I just kind of took a movie of, you know, the, the leaves and everything that was changing. Everything was kind of like bright reds and yellows at the time. And I came in and plugged my phone into the, you know, the big TV. And I said, hey, check this out. And um, then I just, we did a playlist of like the different bike rides that we had taken over the past few years and with the thing in the back and it was kind of like it cheered them up and I said you know this beauty everywhere we don't have to go for a ride we can go sit in the backyard especially since I put it we put that ramp in so he, I could get him out in the backyard without getting the wheelchair stuck yeah it was yeah I don't know why we didn't think of that sooner but yeah so then we went out there and um just went down for you know he was on his wheelchair and I was beside him when we went down to the park and just sat on the benches and looked at the trees and it's there's beauty no matter where you live there's something that you can appreciate so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me i hope you enjoy these wine diaries i'm sorry i get off tangent sometimes and blah 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 i talk a lot but anyway i'm so glad that you're here to join me um if you have any wine suggestions for me i would love to hear them Otherwise, I hope you guys go out, have a great day, enjoy the weekend, have some fun, take care everyone, stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have fun, and we will see you in our next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.